this is Lucy and welcome to a Fallout 76 Building 101 episode. As you can probably tell, I'm in the mire today. Um, I've been wanting to build in the mire for a while. Um, I have built previously before I started my YouTube channel. Um, I did want to build this house at the waterfall, but because of collisions with the rocks around there and the water, I couldn't get the posts in. So I came down here, we are at We're between Abbey's Bunker and the Gnarled Shallows um, Although the Gnarled Shallows is a spawn point I was actually able to build quite close to there So I have that lovely view So I will give you a quick tour This is a house on stilts I tried to hide the one foundation by putting a few plants in there. I used a, a crop plot. God, I couldn't remember what that was called for a minute. I used the basic ladder because I figured it kind of blended in better. These are cabin log cabin walls that have been flamer trapped. Put the roof on before you flame a trap the walls. <laughs> you don't actually fall off these even though they're broken. However, these halves, even though it appears to be, you would fall off. I have actually put a conduit along there. You don't need to if you think that it's not a problem. I mean, it's quite wide. Although when I was building it, I fell off a lot. As you can see, it is offset, the bridge is offset. Just adds a bit more visual interest. I have my hammock out here. If you don't know hammocks act, act as beds, you get the well rested if you use them. I have my grill here. Obviously because of the offset you do have gaps so obviously I filled them with stuff. Sorry if my voice is a bit iffy this morning. My asthma is really playing up because of a plug-in air freshener. <laughs> so <laughs> I have disposed of it. There is a decorating style called Jungalo, which is sort of green and plants and wood and so I kind of try to replicate that here. And my camp is being attacked by something very large. What on earth is it? Oh, is it a... I do get the occasional fog crawler here <laughs> and the occasional rad toad but most of the time it's been quite quiet. The anglers across the way don't actually bother me. It has everything you need. I love these chairs. I used to when I first got them early on in the game. I used to use them in all of my builds. I'm not sure it's anything I'd actually really use in real life, but I don't know. They're just so cheerful. I used I made this screen using these benches. You can't normally put things on them, but I worked out that if you flame a trap it by don't flame a trap this one, but flame a trap the one above. You can then get this on, repair this one. Getting the flame a trap to the right level was a little bit tricky. I actually used, I put it on one of these benches so that I could um, 
gauge the increase in height, then put that bench on another one and so forth. Didn't actually take the flamer trap off the first bench. Because trying to put it on two benches didn't work. So there is the lovely view. I used the Mothman bird, which I thought was a bit more fitting in here. And we have a teeny tiny bathroom. I didn't put a sink in here, you probably could. The modern sink really annoys me because the feet stick through the floor. But you'd probably fit one in there if you wanted. It doesn't actually look like you can go through here, but you just walk through the plant, so that works. And obviously I kept it mostly white because of the the light in the mire is quite dim, but I just added a couple of green feature walls. I think that worked quite well. Obviously the camp is double walled. I used this wood set on the outside this wood wallpaper the only thing that really bugged me was the door we don't have a nice glass door we only have a broken one despite having a glass building set but well the shade, seedy shed door will do in a pinch It's not a complicated build. There are a couple of little techniques in here that you might not know if you don't watch all of my videos. But it is a nice area. It is a little bit off the beaten track. The nearest vendor is Sunny Top. But I quite like being up here. You could obviously, if you wanted, grow more crops. You could grow crops underneath. So that concludes the tour. So let's start building. It is a nice rainy day in the mire. And I have started by placing one foundation. Now, I wasn't able to get this in exactly the same position as last time. I did think I had it lined up, but despite years of building in this game, it's only happened twice, and it's happened twice in the life's fortnight. When you place your camp and you um, start storing all your blueprints, the game freezes while that happens and twice now in the last fortnight I have died because unfortunately it does not freeze the enemies so by the, by the time it's gone through all that iteration of storing all those items comes out I'm dead I don't even have a chance to defend myself I'm just dead <laughs> so then when I respawn I'm not actually in the same exactly the same place as I was now, when I did this previously, you didn't need the second foundation, you could just walk straight up the ladder. So, I knew that it was next to these three rocks, but obviously... So, you may need to put another foundation down. Or maybe... No, it was definitely lined up with these three rocks here. <laughs> right, anyway, it doesn't matter. We're going to start with a ladder and three floors. This will be the workshop area. We're then going to build a bridge to the house and this bridge will be in the middle of these two foundations. It's offset. We're going to have two floors for the bridge then we are going to offset again and have two floors for the porch 
the actual house come on is four long if you can get the wretched floor pieces to go where you want So this will be the porch and this will be the house. To double wall the house, just use whichever set you like. Double wall it using doorways. You can temporarily put floors down and move them. We're going to build the half bathroom. Once you've got these walls on, take this floor off. This is a good time to put the roof on here because you will not be able to get the roof on once the bathroom doorway is in. Place two half floors. Place your walls on. You have to have the walls either side. You will not be able to put a double doorway in here or oh, a double doorway on either side if there is a double doorway in the middle. Right, then you remove the floors. Now, if you have a problem removing this floor, just temporarily put a floorway in here. And you should be able to remove that floor and put the original floor back so this floor will now come up so now we have our half bathroom going to finish putting the double walls on end I had a half wall with a glass top placing um, an upper floor on the other side you just want to flame a trap that wall Place another wall, repair, and you have a double half wall. I'm now going to put the glass on. Now, when I'm building glass walls, because the full walls have a metal piece at the end, if you want a full glass wall, just use these half walls. Now be careful because obviously there are two positions, two snap points for the glass. It's up to you where you want to put them, but make sure they're consistent. To get the upstairs on the upper area here, the upper glass wall, you will need to temporarily put a doorway underneath and the same here
put your glass wall on top. You need to add a roof. You can either use, whoops, I'm going to fall off. A plain roof like this, or you can use a glass roof. The light in the mire is quite dim because of all the trees. So having a glass roof is good. Now that the roof is on, you should be able to remove these doorways. Now I'm going to put the other roof here. I can hear scratching at the door. It's one of my cats. <laughs> I'm going to ignore it because <laughs> I'm a bad cat mother. Just going to convert these walls. Add some wallpaper. I used this wallpaper on the outside. Still don't have a jetpack for Scarlet. I am working on it. I recently got one for Nora. I'm going to try and work that into my roleplay. Nora's Realty at some point. Um, my next episode, I am hoping for you to get a, a glimpse of, of Larry. I think I put tiles on this for the bathroom. Oh, that's a white one I missed. Oh, and we want the inside of the bathroom. Oh, I did. I got that. There we go. So this is all complete now. Two more things we need to do. We need to get the log cabin set. And we need to put these full walls all the way around here. And here. And then half walls on the bridge. Then we are going to just flame a trap all of those log cabin walls. Hopefully before it gets really dark. <laughs> you didn't go into third person when you come out of build mode it's very annoying hopefully there we go let's do a twofer If you can line it up correctly because of the angle of the um, you can also do a two for that way <laughs> because of the perspective in the game sometimes it's not actually easy to tell Threefer. <laughs> Obviously be careful if you've already built the structure where you're pointing your flamer trap because you could end up breaking something else. And I've just realised that I haven't put the roofs on. <laughs> Even though I said. Oh no. Ooh. Will the roof 
go on? Ah, I didn't know that. The roof. No, it won't. There we go. It says it'll go on. Come on, you pain. Cannot place. Ooh, intersects with an existing object. If this happens and you do it wrong, like I've just done, you only need to repair one wall. Because roofs will snap to other roofs. I actually want it lengthways because I'm a bit OCD, as you know. And the same with this. And then we just need to flame a trap those again. It is an whoops, annoying. I'm about to fall off. Yep, there we go. This is what I meant earlier about you can't fall through these, but you can fall through those. Yay. <laughs> so it's starting to look like the jungle O'Neill. The last thing we need are the stilts. And the way to get posts on corners is we can no longer free place posts is using this half floor trick. Posts always snap to the middle, so although it's on the corner of this piece, we are snapping the post to the middle of this piece. Now it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, so just stick another one underneath. And we are going to go round and do this on all of the corners. And probably, I think we should put one in the middle. <laughs> Can't remember how many posts I put up now. You can put another one here if you want. We want our structure to uh, at least look like it's um, sturdy and not going to fall down. <laughs> you are going to have a problem with this corner. I would suggest just offsetting it. Or you could put the posts in first and move the floors about, it's up to you. okay. It's because of the offset, I guess. Because it's in the middle of this one, because of the offset here. But if you want one in the middle here, yeah, it's going to be a problem.
It's very easy to get confused doing this, but I mean, they come off. <laughs> it's not complicated. Because I've got the second foundation in, this one is actually attaching to that foundation. So put in as many as you want to make it look sturdy. I'm not going to bore you to death with putting every post on. That one is already lower as it will go. So that's pretty much it. Which is probably just as well because it's getting dark. I hid the generator on the roof up here. I just put one of these little generators. I don't have any um, heavy duty electrical needs. So I just put a generator up here and I just put vertical conduits on the roof, fed them around here to power the camp. Obviously, because of the offset, we have gaps, but I covered the gaps this side with workbenches and this side, obviously, I put my hammock in and my grill and plants. So I hope that made sense. Remember, children, put your roofs on before you flame trap your walls. <laughs> I even said it in the intro. And then got it wrong, but hey. At least you know how to fix the problem if it occurs. <laughs> so that is pretty much it. If you have any comments, suggestions, anything you'd like to say, please comment below. I love to hear from you guys. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching.